In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of creating a query, uh, one I think that the sales folks will find uh, fairly uh, helpful, and that is a list of all of the agents that have not submitted a piece of business within the past six months. Then we're going to take that query and we're going to create a dashboard with it so that we can keep it right at our fingertips. So in order to create this query, we're going to go into the contacts record since we're looking for agents. So we start in the contacts area and come up here and hit the advanced find. This is where we begin to build all the queries. Now this is the default advanced find that lists active agents. So I'm going to click this new button and start over from scratch. Here I'm going to continue to look in contacts. There's lots of other areas of the system that we could build a query off of, but because we're looking for agents, we're going to use contacts. And then we want to make sure that we're looking at agents because there are lots of different categorizations of contacts within uh, agency works. So we want to go down and select relationship type and put agent. Next, we want to make sure that the agents we're looking at are active. And so there's a field down here called status that we want to use. Um, and we're going to make sure that status equals active. Now, if it's referring to some default fields uh, within Agency Integrator, we can select this little box here and it will tell us the fields that are available. So I'm going to select active. So now this is going to pull a quick query of any active agent currently in the system. Um, now what I would like to do is um, only pull those agents who their last app submitted was on or before six months ago. So there's a field uh, here called last app or last op submitted, last opportunity submitted. Again, opportunities are cases within the system. And I have several fields I can choose from. So I can pick a specific uh, day, I can pick a specific period of time. Um, I want to use um, on or older than X months and for X I'm going to choose 6 and so now if I hit this result I'll get a list it's over 4,000 almost 5,000 producers I'm looking at the database overall um, and so I'm gonna I want to limit this down and where a salesperson would find this helpful is if you have a split hierarchy and in CRM you as the salesperson are the owner, uh, but you also may be part of a team, and the split hierarchies are teams. So I'm going to come down here and select um, owner, sales manager, and now I want to say that this equals, and that will allow me to choose from some variables. I could just say contains and type in um, a name. Or I'm, but I'm, I want to get real specific. I'm going to say equal. I'm going to come over here and look at our options. Now, this lists my users and also my teams. So, for example, I'm going to scroll down here and pick Jay Stubbs. So, because I know Jay's got some split hierarchies, so I'm going to add Jay as the user. And then I'm going to come up here and select team. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select any split hierarchy with Jay. I think that's probably all of them and I'm going to add those. So now as I've built this query I'm looking for active agents who had whose last uh, submitted application was older than six months and I'm going to select for J and for any split hierarchies that he's participating in. So if you're a salesperson and you're building this query for yourself you, you the owner sales manager would be you as well as your teams. And so now I'm going to hit results and it went from 4700 to 240 producers and uh, I can do a couple of things from this point. One is I can export these contacts to Excel. So I'm going to uh, create a static worksheet and hit export to show you how to do this uh, very very briefly. I'll open this up It'll automatically open Excel. It'll say, hey, it's downloading this file from the internet. Do you really want to open it? Yes, that's fine. And here we have that list in a nicely formatted Excel spreadsheet to uh, do some sort of marketing campaign with. So I can also now save this advanced find and create a dashboard with it. So I'm going to 
come over here and I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to call this uh, lost sheep report. Just give it a description so I don't forget. select OK. So now once I have uh, created this view I'm going to uh, close out of here. A uh, couple of things once I'm back in my contacts I can select that view here and I'm call it lost sheep report. So this is the same report that I had just pulled in my advanced uh, find query and now it's available among my views. And so if I go back up here to dashboards, I can either add that view um, on an existing dashboard or I can just create a new dashboard. So I'm going to select a new dashboard. I've got several different options I can choose from. I'm going to do this two column. I'm going to create this dashboard, pull my window over here. And in here, I want to select one of my lists. Now I could have turned that list into a graph. I have some other options but this is a list of agents. I'm going to select this button. I'm going to come down here to my record type and this is contacts. If you recall we viewed contacts and my view was this lost sheep report. And so I'm going to select OK and I'm going to call this a test dashboard. I'm going to save that. close it and now I am here in my test dashboard um, I can see that I have lots of other dashboards here I've just created this test dashboard and I have my uh, query in it so now I can look through here I can scroll through but this gives me a way to just keep the, the this list of agents at the forefront of my mind um, it is a small box and so if I was really looking for uh, somebody I'd either use this search here or I would go back into my contacts and I would use my view here that I had created where it gives me a lot more real estate to be able to look at the screen. Uh, but that is uh, quickly uh, some covering some basics of how to build a query, then how to export that query into Excel and how to take that query and turn it into a dashboard.